Well, okay. You know what? I think I've bogged on on the fucking cons a little too much. Let's let's focus on some of the pros, which I did not put down notes for. I thought I was going to put the notes down after watching the whole series, but... <laughs> Oh, well. Okay, pros. Let's start with our protagonist, Minato. Despite him kind of being a doubtful, sad existence of a character, like every other male character in a harem, he's actually better than fucking, um... Keitaro from Love Hina. Couple things... Really? Yeah. One... He doesn't get physically abused or treated like shit in the boarding house. People actually respect him and like him or whatever. Oh, okay, that's good. And, and it's not like no running boarding gag of him good. being hit. Two, I th he does pick himself up from time to time. He did get a job. He managed to land a job working at a construction site. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, I'm cool and with that. And three, yeah. despite him, like, this... Uh, Despite a little bit of his cowardice, he is willing to, like, put himself in danger in order to save somebody. He, like, tried to see if he could stop the Lightning Sisters. I forgot their names. That's why I'm calling them the Lightning Sisters. Um, I think one of them's, like, Hikari. I'm not sure. Um, mm -hmm. he, he tries to put himself in front of them, but they obviously ignore him and chase after Musubi. And uh, in Episode 3... When that when Yomi was about to go after Kusuno, he did like stop him. I mean, he did try to like you know sexually harass her just to make just to, it's an attempt to distract him, not just for the sake of doing it. So uh -huh. yeah, um, so slightly better hair and protagonist. Um, the art and animation, though, I noticed that some characters share a little bit in the similar faces. I can overlook that because they at least have different color hair and eyes. Um, mm -hmm. characters it just stuff. means your voice sounds staticky a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, your voice. Probably. Yeah. But it's, it's probably your connection. It has nothing to do with me. <laughs> well, really. It's all my fault. I'm not right. fucking with you. <laughs> designs are pretty... Uh, Character designs and the artwork is pretty nice. Uh, the animation's uh, also of uh, above average quality. Mm -hmm. um, the opening credits music is catchy. I will not watch the closing credits ever again. That was their <laughs> fuel. For is it really that unbearable to see? Uh, just watch it yourself. It's not unbearable, but there was one moment where I was like, Ugh! or or in, this, <laughs> or in the case of Hank Hill, boo, boo. <laughs> He was playing this Tomb Raider game where he was a girl. <laughs> it was gone. No. <laughs> uh, the characters aren't annoying or obnoxious at all, though Moosey B is, like, a bit of a nicey-nice girl. She's your basic average ditzy-nice girl uh, character. But, and some of the non-etchy humor... Um, was pretty funny. For instance, mm -hmm. there was a scene where um, where where Yomi was just slicing and dicing around, and Musubi comes in as an unintentional last minute rescue, and she, Yomi was about to slice her, and then Musubi just catches the sli scythe with her palms. Is like, hey, you shouldn't you shouldn't wield sharp objects like that. Here, let me help you. And she just casually breaks the scythe, and it's just played for laughs. It was so hilarious. She's like, here, let me fix that. Okay, there we go. You broke my death scythe! <laughs> Damn, she just freaks out. Yeah, some of the night. And I just deleted images that I should not have. God damn it. I'm never going to re recreate those. Yeah, okay. Please tell me you have those cat images I told you about. I, I, I still have those creepy cat images that I do. The I need you to resend those to me because those are the only ones I need. La right. Later on, that now, though. All right. There was one more con I wanted to mention. Oh, God. Uh. Is it really that bad? No, no, I'm just trying to remember. Um, I was mentioning characters, and for some reason that popped in my head, but I decided to stay on the pros. Wait, never mind, I got the images, never mind. Okay. I'm good. You're good. Uh, <sighs> I'm trying to fucking remember. <laughs> <laughs> I should have I'm sorry, I, I was distracted. I'm being too distracting Let's here. Let's see, I said the art was nice. I, I, I don't know much about the music, it's just your typical score. Um, mm. nothing too catchy or memorable for me. By Harry Gregson Williams. <laughs> no, <I'm laughs> um, so the show so far is looking 
oh, decent. Yeah. Oh, it, there, there was one other thing. Um, regarding the animation, during some of the acting sequences, the animation mm. is pretty damn good. Hmm. Well, that's good. So, so far, the show is looking average. Eh? I, eh, it's just, well, will I go, okay. yeah, will I finish watching it? De- probably, I just don't know when. Or if you want to at all. At I, point. I do, it's, dude, trust me, it, it, this Sekure is like points above Love Hina in the well, I would imagine so. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's it's way above Love Hina. <laughs> wow. That show, fuck Love Hina. Can't <laughs> that shit. That, that recently just that, stopped being friends with someone that likes Love Hina, but that's not the reason why. <laughs> it's a long story. The characters in Sekiro are at least more tolerable. Um. Yeah, I can see that being the case. Yeah. Damn. This is gonna be a lot of dead space. That's right. You don't mind. Yeah, I may actually have to. I may actually start the show. Didn't start recording. When yeah. You uh, oh, that's another thing. Oh, oh, now I remember the con. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, one of the cons is I think I know why I don't like. I don't really care for a lot of Etchy now. Mm-hmm. Because of the Etchy humor. Hmm. It's the same jokes. I've seen... For coming from a guy who watches a lot of fan service anime, a lot of Hedgies and a couple of harems, and I still do to this day, I realize mm-hmm. I'm seeing the same shit over and over again. And, and Recycled I, jokes? Yeah, some of the jokes like, kind of like, recycled. You think you may give us like a few examples? Like, uh, like mean like the whole... Um, uh, mean the, the implied sex jokes, stuff like that? Nosebleed, uh, seeing a girl naked, getting nosebleed... Um, oh, of course. They just keep, yeah. they just keep doing that over and over again, really. Trip over the main, uh, trip on the main character, have them look at something awkward, whether it be an ass or a breast, or accidentally kissing the person. Yeah, like they've when done that. To the ed- section. Time. When it comes to the ed- edgy section for laughs, I'm like, well, the, now if you've seen a lot of harem anime, uh-huh. then this show. While better than most of the harem anime, uh, it's, it's really love, you know? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. You call them out, huh? <laughs> um, this show is definitely, the, the, it pars the whole, but if there's, if you're a person who's like, who gave, who gave up hope on fan service, I can't really recommend this anime as a way to change people's mind. But however, right, you're, you're, if you you're still give the harem shows a chance, but you're look, but you're making sure you're, you're looking for a good one, then definitely pick Sekiro's something on the recent list that I would uh, that I would definitely recommend. In fact, um, hmm. even though these are still like early impressions, this is the second impression. I would say I would recommend this to people who haven't seen a lot of harem anime, but probably want to, and this will. This I would put over list. And like, if you have the choice between Love Hina and Sekure, pick Sekure. Pick it. Fuck Love Hina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not, I've not seen, that, I've seen a couple of clips. If you have and... a choice between this and Tenchi, pick Tenchi. But <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah Tenchi is probably the one that's best. I will always like Tenchi. Well, I was actually just thinking of Tenchi. I'm like Tenchi. Most people forget that it is a horror. But it... but that's not a bad thing either. Yeah. Mm. So, like, uh, quote myself for those again, who are looking for like a straight up fan service action series. Don't don't go in there with any expectations in that area because you won't get much of it. It's it's it, like I don't know how many action sequences are supposed to proceed later on, but I doubt there's that many. Um, so I would just watch this with the mindset that you're watching a harem anime. That's probably the best mindset. To give it a, with. Really, really, you should just go in there and watch it for what it is, rather than in the genre. Because once you start having this, you know, this prejudice view of, view and aspect of it, you, you kind of kill the joy of ever enjoying it. You know, because when I heard about Queen's Blade, like, oh, fan servicey, fan servicey, but I actually watched it. I'm like, you know what? 
the first episode was pretty distracting. I mean, not to spoil it anyone, but there was actually a scene where a girl shoots milk from her breast, and that were like that was lactating acid. Caused, yeah, it's acid, and then later it's causing explosions, and I'm like, okay. Uh, yeah, that was. That's actually my least favorite character in that fucking fucking anime. Even though she's voiced by one of my favorite voice actresses. That's partially I mean, the reason why. I mean, I don't get me wrong. Her. Um, her name was um, crap. I forget her name. But yeah, the Melina? voice actress. Me, 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 yeah, her. Yeah, that's, that's her name. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like you know, I don't mind her, but it's just that she's. I mean, she's a pretty good character. I just don't like the design, huh? Yeah, it's, it's the eyes. It's right. the eyes. It has something to do with the eyes. Anyways. I uh, think it's the hands. I think I gotta, it's the extra set of hands she has. I got I to gotta, I gotta shut this uh, this little uh, discussion short now since I, I got what, out what I, uh, what I needed to say. So closing thoughts. Oh, okay. Sekirei, I will continue to watch it. Will I review it in the future? Probably. So with that, uh, Dusk Group 27 signing out. And maybe we can discuss something else. Like pirate, like... Like, by the way, good news. Uh, I heard that Sopo is completely gone. For yeah, now, like, for now it is. But they, right now, they're pulling that back. They're pulling it back so they can like, kind of retweak it. So, oh, it. Yeah, so people, yeah, apparently not people are liking this. So let's just, you know, just take it back for now. We'll put it up. We'll have it, like, you know, put up sometime later in the future. But right now, let's kind of ret- retweak yeah, it. Yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey, well, you hey, can do a rent on that if you want. Yeah, the, uh, because I, I don't know. I just feel like doing a rant about the animation industry in general, where I want to talk about not just you know piracy, but DVDs. You know, speaking as an anime consumer. Well, anyways, that's that's. If people want to see that, they can post a comment. If people want to see me talk about manga against, which I will do as well. All right, now I am cutting this call short.